Top 10 Tourist Attractions in Iceland Iceland is a small country that packs a big punch. On just one trip, you can walk on sparkling beaches, hike enormous glaciers, climb through lava caves, watch geysers erupt, explore primeval forests, and much more. Known as the land of fire and ice, Iceland is a country of sharp contrasts. A place where volcanically active hot spots and enormous glaciers can be found side by side. Where dark winters are offset by the summer's midnight sun. A country where strange and desolate landscapes lay just outside the colorful capital of Reykjavik. Certainly one of the most beautiful countries in the world, Iceland is an absolute treat to travel about with its spectacular landscapes and scenery wherever you look. Here are our best picks for Iceland's to must-see. Number 1. The Blue Lagoon The Blue Lagoon is a large geothermal pool located in Reykjans Peninsula in the southwestern part of Iceland. The pool is not from a natural source of geothermal water, it is actually supplied by excess water from a nearby power plant called Svartsengi. The Blue Lagoon came into existence in 1974, when excess water was released from the Svartsengi power plant. The lagoon quickly became a popular spot for swimming and bathing but there were absolutely no facilities by the lagoon until 1987. The water is rich in minerals, especially sulfur and silica, which are supposedly good for your skin. This explains the lagoon's popularity in its early years. The facilities at the Blue Lagoon underwent a major renovation in 1992 and has in the recent years gained a reputation as a world-class tourist attraction. In 2016, bathing in the Blue Lagoon became the most common thing that tops travel bucket lists of millennials around the globe. The Great Pyramids of Giza came second. Number 2. The Golden Circle the Golden Circle is a route between three major attractions, Geyser, Gullfoss Waterfall, and Thingvellir National Park. It takes one day or less to do the whole tour and it's well within reach from the capital. The route is around about 300 kilometers, 190 miles, long, counting the drive from Reykjavik. The advantages of a self-drive tour are that you can plan the tour according to your needs. There are loads of interesting sites in the region and some pretty decent restaurants too. Self-drive is also a good option for those who are spontaneous and want to let their curiosity control the itinerary. Number 3. The South Shore The South Shore of Iceland is extremely beautiful and thus attracts many visitors. Many of Iceland's most beautiful attractions are located on the South Shore, Renisfjara Black Beach, Sulialamsfoss Waterfall, Skogafoss Waterfall, the Solheimasandor Plain Wreck and more. Driving along the South Shore from Reykjavik can be done in one day, but it's easily possible to explore the area at a slower pace. If you want to drive yourself, you can rent a car here. Number 4. Vatniyrkel National Park Vatniyrkel is the name of Iceland's largest glacier. The Vatniyrkel National Park is also the largest national park in Iceland, covering the glacier itself and the surrounding areas. For nature lovers, Vatniyrkel National Park is a sheer paradise. You can hike in the area, explore fantastic natural wonders or simply drive from one attraction to another. The park officially formed in 2008 by joining together Jokul Sarglufer and Skaftafell National Parks. In fact, it is the largest national park in Western Europe. Number 5. Snæfellsnes Peninsula Snæfellsnes Peninsula has been dubbed Iceland in a nutshell, as most characteristics of the Icelandic nature can be found in the area. Whether you decide to do a multi-day road trip around the whole peninsula or just a quick tour to see the major highlights, Snæfellsnes will definitely be a destination to remember. Number 6. The Whales Iceland is a fantastic destination for those who are interested in seeing whales in their natural habitat. The oceans surrounding Iceland are home to roughly 20 different species of whales and dolphins and at least 8 of these species are frequently spotted, either on whale watching tours or even from the shore. Whale watching is a year-round activity, although sightings are more common during the summertime. You can embark on a whale watching tour from Reykjavik Harbor in Snæfells Peninsula in the West Fjords or the northern part of Iceland. Number 7. The Diamond Circle The Diamond Circle is a tourist route in the northern part of Iceland that connects three of the most beautiful attractions in the region, Esbergi Canyon, Dedafoss Waterfall, and Lake Mivaten. There are also loads of other splendid attractions on route, such as Husavik, the whale-watching capital of Iceland, Fjorns, Gothbos and more. The Diamond Circle is around 190 miles, 310 kilometers, 
long, so just driving the whole route takes you a little over 4 hours. Since you'll be getting out of the car and exploring the main attractions on the route, the whole tour will take you around 10 to 12 hours. Number 8. The Northern Lights. The Northern Lights, La. Aurora Borealis, appear when electrically charged particles, emanating from the sun, travel at a high speed towards Earth, resulting in a collision with the highest air particles. The different colors of the lights are in accordance with the different gases that are found up there. Most northern lights are green in color, due to collision with oxygen. The solar activity affects the strength of the northern lights. Iceland is situated on the so-called auroral zone, which means that this magnificent phenomena can be seen from there when the conditions are right. Just remember that spotting northern lights is impossible during summer, blame it on the midnight sun. For those who like guided tours and perhaps don't have a rental car to drive outside the city, I think a Northern Lights tour could be a good idea. The guides are usually very knowledgeable about the Aurora Borealis and I assume they know the best spots to see them. I advise you to check out the Northern Lights forecast before you book a tour and if the chances are low, you might as well skip it altogether. Number 9. Thorsmork. Thorsmork is a mountain ridge, located in South Iceland. The name literally translates to Thor's Woods, referring to the Norse god Thor. The Thorsmork area is extremely beautiful and combines the distinct characteristics of the Icelandic highlands, black sands and lush woodlands. Thorsmork is a paradise for hikers. There are countless trails in the area, including the world-famous Lagarfjör Highland Trek. It's also the finishing point, or the starting point if you walk from north to south, of the Finnvorthols Trek. If you are interested in hiking Finnborthol's trek as a one-day trek, there is a nice campsite in Thorsmark but there are other alternatives for accommodation too, the volcano huts for example. Staying in Thorsmark for a few days is heavenly for hikers and nature lovers, it's the ideal place to visit during the short Icelandic summer. Number 10. Downtown Reykjavik. Reykjavik City is no metropolis, but it certainly has its charm. Travelers describe it as cool and quirky and food lovers drool over the diverse and hip restaurants you'll find in the capital. Most travelers end up wandering around in the city center of Reykjavik, even if the purpose of the trip was to explore Iceland's gorgeous nature. The major highlights of Reykjavik are probably the Hallgrimskirkja Church and Harpa Concert Hall. You should definitely take your time to see these magnificent buildings. There are plenty of other interesting things to do and see in the city and you can easily spend at least a couple of days just going to museums and restaurants. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.